Frank Proctor's gonna show us third grade math. Guys, this is one of the coolest drills we shot all season. Take it away, Frank. Hey, what's up, y'all? Frank Proctor with Way of the Gun Performance Shooting out at the range again today. Uh, what we're gonna do today is a little third grade math. What this exercise is all about is some information gathering, a little decision making, some processing information, and then a little bit different kinds of shooting there. Um, Why the information gathering kind of deal? Kind of a big deal for tactical shooters. Um, my gig is performance shooting. That's kind of what I, I train and focus on a good bit. Uh, you know, I define it as applying the correct ratio of speed and accuracy to dynamic shooting situations with a goal of scoring more points in less time than somebody else with accountability. Um, a lot of times, it's, well, I've just kind of discovered this is a, a very visual game. Um, you know, whether you're talking competitive shooting or tactical shooting or defensive shooting, very visual. The eyes are going to lead us into what we need to do. And we're going to get a lot of exercise there, working those eyes and working the mind to make some decisions. Um, things are going, um, well, we kind of talked a little bit about competitive and tactical shooting there. No matter what arena you're competing in, I feel like that, that um, uh, definition of performance shooting kind of applies. Now, a big difference with, the, uh, with those two arenas in competitive shooting, we just know we're shooting targets. Okay? I know I'm going to move from here to there. There's going to be some targets there I need to shoot, or there's something I'm going to shoot on the way, et cetera. When it comes time to become a tactical shooter, or to flip that switch over, you still have to see. Right? You've got to see anything to shoot it, but you're going to have to see it and make some decisions about it. Okay? Um, that's some of the work you're going to get here. And then it's easy stuff, easy to set up. Would be kind of cool if you had, you know, the more targets you have set up, the more work you have to get as a shooter, and the wider area you can push it out into, uh, the more work you'll get. Okay, um, absolutely, a really cool exercise in vision or uh, information gathering, using your eyes and head, using those to their uh, their capabilities. Um, so kind of the way the uh, we'll set the range up, the way we got this one set up right now. Uh, we've got a barrel out there that's going to be our start point. We'll have the shooter with their head down. We like to keep the, the shooter kind of in the blind of this, where they don't get a chance to kind of look out there and see what, what's out there in front of them. They get more work that way. I love doing these types of exercises because of the, the vision work that's required. Uh, so if our shooter comes into the same blind, I usually you know, bring shooters up one at a time, they're you know, kind of facing away, uh, one at a time come up with their head down, get ready into the start position there, already loaded up and all. Um, I'll hit a pro timer. They'll turn around and look over their shoulder. I'll have an index card up there with a number on it. On them, on them at that point to go out there and you know, get their head up and look out there in that wide area. You know, let's see, ideally, we'd like to be able to get stuff out 180 degrees and even possibly just slightly past 180 degrees. So we really have to use those eyes and that head moving around to gather information. Um, so the computer's going to look out there and start looking and gathering information. He's going to have to see everything. Okay, in order to put this together, because we're not just shooting target number five. We're looking out there for two numbers that add up to equal five. Easy third grade math, all right? But if you go shoot this thing, you'd be kind of surprised the kind of work you get out of it. It's really good work, uh, especially in the, uh, like I said, being aggressive, looking for information. Uh, so number five is the number. We start looking around out there. It's like, all right, cool. There's a, there's a three, there's a four, there's a, there's a one. Wait a minute. One and four equal five. You know, now we go out and shoot them. Now, how are we gonna shoot them? Okay. Um, every time the sights intersect one of these tick marks, we'll shoot. So we'll shoot a total of five rounds on target five. Target number two, for example, total of two rounds. But all the while, the gun's moving. So this is some good exercise for shooters as well. Uh, rather than just for tactical shooters, rather than just parking the gun right there in the middle of the target and delivering a bunch of rounds, hey, what if the target starts moving while you're shooting? And okay, now we get a little work tracking it. And we're going to keep these shots inside this, um, these, um, the lines there okay, and drive the gun down through there. Sometimes they go up, sometimes they go in circles, what have you. All right, so I'll kind of talk you through this thing as Travis is shooting. Okay? So he's got his head down there. You see that? Um, I'm out there you know, kind of back over his right shoulder there. I'll hit the pro timer there. He starts, his head comes, or comes back behind him there, finds his number. And in this case, it's number three. His head's out there on the swivel. You see he's out there looking, gathering some information. Awesome work for him. He's digging it, I know. Um, he finds those two numbers. He shoots them the way they need to be shot. He goes back to head down. You know, what else I can do with the pro timer, too? I can kind of quantify how long it took him to make that first shot. That's kind of an evaluation of the decision-making process. We can do that if I'm working with a team of guys or a group of guys that all work together. 
we can use the same number, first number for everybody. We get kind of across the board evaluations, like how fast can we gather information, process, make decisions, and then the shooting part becomes easy. Uh, so we'll keep working this with Travis. You see him kind of continue working through some of these numbers and getting some really good work. You guys go shoot this for yourself, see what you think. Easy third grade math. I think you'll have a good time with it. That's what we got for now. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Crossbreed Holsters, Osprey Armaments, Troy Industries, Troy Defense, BCM, Bravo Company USA, Caltech, Nemo Arms, Tactical Walls, Dark Angel, Mission First Tactical, EOTech, Mayflower Research and Consulting, Streamlight, Closed Captioning, provided by Wiley X, and Trigger Time TV Ammunition, provided by Freedom Munitions. All right, guys, another great show down. As always, the crew and I would like to dedicate today's show, make a special dedication to our sponsors. Without our sponsors, we wouldn't have a show.